What's up duelers, it's Nerp here, and today we are going to be doing Gauntlet, uh, which is the draft mode in uh, Duelist, similar to Judgment and Scrolls. Um, I think they, they only make it available certain days of the week. I guess we are in a time when it is available right now. And it actually costs gold to play and enter, just like Judgment and Scrolls, um, but I have two Gauntlet tickets, which is like a free plastic free pass to play. I'm not sure when I got those or how I got them. Pretty sure I got one of them in one of those loot crate things for the holidays and another one I had uh, from a, a reward from another gauntlet run from way back when I used to play Duelist last year. So the way it works is it gives you three factions in the beginning to choose from and then whatever faction you choose it will give you uh, rows of cards uh, to choose from and you have to keep selecting cards to build up your deck of 30 and you play with that deck. Uh, I'm gonna choose Magmar here because although I like Songhai the most and I'm more familiar with Songhai cards, um, I've heard they're not as good for gauntlet runs because uh, the cards in Songhai need to be more synergetic with one another whereas Magmar has a lot of just straight up good units on its own that can perform well in any kind of a uh, deck like a randomized gauntlet deck and Vanar I'm just very unfamiliar with uh, their cards so I'm gonna go with Magmar I actually just concluded a uh, gauntlet run my first gauntlet run um, of this uh, this year and I got to five wins basically you play with your deck that you draft until you either win 12 games or lose three games uh, I obviously, uh, since I only got to five wins, I lost three, so I went five and three with it, which wasn't that good, but, um, the rewards I got were, like, a spirit orb, so that's why there's a spirit orb at the beginning there, I guess I could open that, um, a couple, like, a common card and a bunch of gold, so not too good, and I did choose Magmar there, so hopefully we do better with Magmar this time. So, let's draft, and we have the mana curve down here, we gotta make sure our deck has a nice amount of minions in it. And has good curve. So first row here. Also, every row of cards you choose from, they all have the same rarity. So I guess that makes it somewhat fair. Uh, let's see. And Gauntlet is a great way for you to learn if you're a new player. Obviously, it's hard for a new player, but it really lets you uh, be introduced to all the cards and learn what they do. So three, four, five. Whenever you cast a spell, summon a 1-1 one, one spell spark with a rush on a random nearby space. I think I'll take the crossbones. It's just straight up like 3-3 three, three, and it's... I think it seems pretty good. Because these uh, these kinds of uh, gauntlet decks can have random minions with range and that could come in handy. Now this is a tough choice. Colossus becomes massive, veteran Silithar is just a really solid uh, creature, and then Earth Sphere. I rage whenever my opponent plays an Earth Sphere unranked. I think I'd rather take the unit right now, and I'll take the 4-drop veteran Silithar. Just because Colossus, although it seems really great, that first turn when you put it down, um, it just gets hit from like left and right because it only has one attack, so but the opponent knows it won't deal that much damage back. So it's really only good when you can play it uh, in safety. Now do I, do I take an Earth Sphere or this? Or I'm gonna take another Veteran Selfar. I'm building up these decent four drops, decent decent units. Dying Wish draw a card. Open Gambit. Give a nearby friendly minion plus one one, and opening up with two random friendly minions plus two health. Uh, I'll take the Necroseer just because you draw a card with it. So now I have a 3 drop, a 2 4 drops, and a 5 drop. Gotta get some 2 drops. Give friendly Man plus 1 attack and Frenzy, and this couple 4 drops. I'll take the Provoke Primus Shield Master. Always a good unit. I see him in a lot of decks as a neutral card. Um, tough choice here. I love the Primordial Gazer. Uh, you can give anything plus 2 2. It's a 3 drop, it's very versatile. Also, this plasma storm that can be a really, really clutch board clear. I'm gonna take the primordial gazer because last game I had a couple of plasma storms, I think, at least one of them, 
and I never found a good spot where it would help me, so that can go away. Uh, oof, this is a tough choice. Blitzer Alchemist is always good for picking off little things and knocking off durability on artifacts on the opponent in general. Phalanxar is a 6-1 for 2. I think I'm going to take the Phalanxar. Actually, screw it. This guy, he was nerfed. I remember he used to be a 7-2 uh, in beta last year. Now he's 6-1. He can be destroyed by something as little as this. So I'll take the thing as little as this. Now I have a 1 drop. Primus Fist, Song Weaver, Sun Seer. I'll take the Primus Fist. Pretty versatile. And now I finally have a 2 drop creature. Trying to have a good curve here. Um, not a huge fan of these units, so I can take my Earth Sphere. I love the Earth Sphere. It seems so strong. Uh, these cards don't seem that good. Don't love them. I will. Play the. I'll take the Silver Tongue Corsair. Play with. Just because the three drop helps the curve the most, and I don't really like the other creatures. Frostbone Naga, Swamp and Tangler, Serpenti. Uh, I'll decide between these two. I don't like Serpenti as a six drop. So I take another one drop? That'd be a lot of one drops. No, I only have one actually. Frostbone Naga. Pretty good card. I'll take the Frostbone Naga. I've never seen this card before. Blood Letter. It's 4 6 or 6. Deals double damage to generals. Nah, it doesn't seem worth it for 6. I'll take another Blood Tier Alchemist. Dire Tide Frenzy. Hmm. I'll take the. I'd probably take the Repulsor Beast here if I didn't uh, have so few. Only one two drop so far. I'll take the Phalanx there. You could always just deal six damage to a general, which is good. Okay, now you have a tough choice. I'm gonna roll out Kinetic Equilibrium. Um, I like these units more. Uh, Spirit Harvester will just like it's good for putting down just dealing one damage to everything. But Elucidator is a five attack rush dude. <laughs> But it deals 4 damage to your general, that's the problem. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the... I'm going to take the Beard Harvester just because I have a bunch of 4 drops and no 5 drop. Actually, I just have this 5 drop. Now, Grimrock, Grove 2-2, two two, Greater Fortitude, and an Air Drop. Uh, we're pretty good in the four drops right now, so I'm going to take the uh, Greater Fortitude. It's always good to have a spell in your back pocket to help some units out. Um, hmm. I don't know which to choose here. I don't like any of them, actually. I'll take the Dampening Wave. That could save me on a on a bunch of uh, on a bunch of damage. Okay, I'll take another spirit harvester. So now we have two of those. Uh, do I take a six drop now? Or th I'll take the Savior Sign Tiger. It's a good uh, rush three drop. Just quickly get in three damage. Now we have fifteen minions. Also to note, it's a dry deck of thirty cards. Or I guess 31 if you count the general, uh, which is 10 less than a normal deck of 40. So you will be drawing these cards, like you'll, you'll see turnover quicker. Tough choice here. I do have a lot of creatures, so I'll probably just do the Plasma Storm. A lot of low three attack units, though. I'm going to take the Earthwalker. Get another three drop in there. Uh, these are a bunch of cards. Okay, Sworn Defender, big defensive unit. Mm, 
No thanks. Toilet Sorcerer, put a copy of Random bell Spell you cast. <laughs> I've seen this guy, guys. Kajada. Your minions cost one less summon to take one damage when summoned from the action bar. Yeah, I'll take this. It's a two drop and it could get me a fast start in the game. Ooh, we got some legendaries. So, we have no six drop yet, so Jack's Truce, it could be good. I'm very familiar with this card. I, he was actually my first legendary in Duelist, I think, uh, way back last year when I, uh, he was the first legendary I got. Um, so I got a bunch of little ranged units. Uh, Hollow Grove Keeper, what's this? Destroy any nearby minions with Provoker Frenzy. If you do this, that's very situational and I can't play that as a normal 5 drop, so I'm not sure if I like that. And Lady Lock, Provoke, Open Gamut, other minions do summon this turn, game 1-1 one, one, and Provoke. I'm going to take the Jax, I like the 6 drop. Which could combo well with like greater fortitude and primitive primordial gazer. <sighs> so I don't get I'll take another Saber Spine Tiger. Can't have too many of those. Hmm. This could be good with uh <laughs> combined with Jack's true side, give all of them plus one attack, but on its own I think Jax is a pretty good two drop. Because you get something after it dies as well. Okay, our curve is looking pretty curvy. Nice bell here. Uh, just take a 10-10, just because. Nah, nobody likes those 10-10s. Ten I have a bunch of minions, so I'll take the spell. Dampening waves. We have a couple dampening waves. Now we might take something big. What's this? Your your other minions have plus one attack. Or dying with shit draw a card. I like the Necros here more, I think. Yeah, I like that more as a card. That's a Celerity, another Primus Fist, or Blue Tip Scorpion. I'll take another Primus Fist. Pretty aggressive deck we have here. Uh, give two random. I'll do the plus two health for two random minions. Okay. Natural natural selection is a great spell. It, it's great removal. I hate to pass up on both of these grow units though, but I think I gotta take the natural selection. Uh, Adamantine Claws, those can come in handy. Plus four attack. Elucidator now, maybe. Yeah. Okay, that's my deck. So I have a lot of four drops, a lot of twos and threes, a good amount of fives. No really huge seven sevens or eights. Or I don't know if there are any. So no huge sevens or only and only one six. So definitely more an ag more of an aggressive deck. And I think this old general guy is a better general. So let's do this. I spent 13 minutes on the um, draft. Not sure how I'm gonna format these. Uh, these uh, gauntlet mode videos because obviously most likely can't play like an entire run in one video mm. let's also get rid of the Primus for now okay So let's get rid of the dampening way right now. Maybe we shouldn't have gotten rid of that um, whatever we got rid of in the beginning. He's just being played as a normal 2 3 because there's nothing to play as plus 2 attack on. Whoop, I got, yeah, that's what I meant. Well, I got it back anyways, the Primus Shield Master. Uh, next turn I'll have 3 mana, potentially 4. Actually, potentially five. So we'll see what we want to do. Giving this four attack, giving making this go to four attack is an option with my primordial gazer. I have this up my sleeve. I have blood tear alchemist, bone chill barrier. So uh, 
That's slightly annoying. <laughs> and I wish I was actually had one health that, so I could just take him down with a uh, Blood Tear Alchemist. I guess I can deal some damage then with the Spirit Harvester. Oh, well, I'll take out two of them right now. And is there a four drop for me to play? I think it's time to just play a veteran Silithar. Let's do so. So I'll just play the veteran Silithar right here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and swap out my next turn. Let's see. Yeah, I'll swap out my Primordial Gazer. Earth Sphere. Not really needed right now in the early game, but whatever. And I do get stunned. Which I'm not sure how that works. Will I be unstunned on my when my turn comes around? Don't worry, wait, do Do generals not become stunned? I guess not. <sighs> not sure if it's possible for generals to become stunned. Darn turns my strong creature into a 3-3. Oh, it's my 3-3. First thing I thought, he gets it. Okay, that's not too bad. He plays a card. Me, I still have a okay creature. Swaps places. Yeah, I'm still stunned, right? Yeah, okay. So I can go to 3 attack. I don't need to, though. I think I'll destroy that with my general. Destroy the wall with my whatever this is, the fox. Uh, I can get to five mana, so I don't want to play Spirit Harvester though. It hurts me more than him. I think I uh, go with the Sun Elemental, maybe. Let's get rid of the Earth Sphere for now. Okay, well, let's do this. Two forward. Let's destroy that. Destroy that. Give my minions some extra health. And I guess I may as well give my general plus one attack instead of just using a blood tier alchemist without any surprise factor one damage stuff. Alright, so we have a pretty good hold on this game. We have four decent units on the board. Three decent minions, I mean, surrounding his general with my general too. Sworn Defender, what does this guy do again? I had an option of picking him at once, at one point. Whenever your general takes damage or throws him full health. Okay. Uh, we gotta make sure we don't really miss lethal or anything, but we don't have enough damage yet. Okay, this natural slash is not going to work on him. I could actually get rid of it. I'm actually going to get rid of the spirit harvester, because I have so many units on the board that I think it hurts me more. Ooh, perfect. So, can we get up to seven? I can do three with this, plus add this two. Okay, yeah. So let's do that. Let's just get this now. You could have gone for a bunch of face damage or whatever. Oh, we actually didn't need to get that. We have nothing else to play this turn. Oh well. Oh, we're actually low on health a little bit on our general. Hopefully it doesn't come back to bite us. Uh, I don't think Vanner has anything to like clear the board with, so let's speed up his death and go ahead and start punching him a little bit. Kujata. Feeling pretty confident at this point, but I've come from a lot of experience uh, in these games. 
you can come back from things. Okay. Wait, what is this? 1-1, one, one, okay. For a second, I thought it was the one where you can do 2 damage in a column to the general, which would be kind of kind of bad because I was, wasn't paying attention to that. Wasn't paying attention to putting my units in columns like that. So I can attack for 3, or 4, 6, 8. Not enough. Hmm. Natural selection is my unit, so no thank you. If I play this, then these will only cost... I could play... That wouldn't really help, would it? Let's get rid of natural selection. Brossbone Naga. Is that going to help us at this point? Not really, no. Let's just... Right, so this is ours, right? Let's just trade with him. Um, you know, yeah, actually. like this all right so we're playing a lot of stuff again now we can use all of our resources I don't think losing one health on my uh, prime shield master is gonna, gonna be a big deal okay that's dispelled and takes two damage hell the mechazor and that's gonna be game well played. And we start off 1-0 on our journey. On this. Thanks for the good game, Iced. I'll tip you the 5. Uh, we're at 22 and a half minutes. Play again. So it kind of sucks that... I've never seen somebody play the other general or magmar. I'll say this guy does. Uh, that's a two drop I can play turn one. Let's get rid of these two. Yeah, so I'm not sure how this format's gonna work because uh, so for passage for for judgment videos on my channel, if you remember them. What I did, which is the scrolls draft game, where it's kind of similar to this, where there's a ton, of, there's a ton of matches. Uh, what I did was I let me just do this turn first. What I did was I pl I did the draft on camera, and then played the first match on camera, and that usually ended up around a thirty minute video or more, and that was usually it. Uh, which kind of sucked because then you couldn't see my rewards at the end or me play through the entire run So I'll have to see what I'm gonna do with the duelist uh, The duelist what's it called? Gauntlet series this dragon mark is actually really easy for me to destroy with this blood tier alchemist And I can actually do that too. Wow, this is perfect. Will I have enough mana to do this? Yes, I will. I'm not even gonna replace yet. So let's give you the three attack. Attack that. That's gonna become an egg. I move, I move forward. Destroy the egg. And then I play my Blood Tear Alchemist. Uh. I guess here and destroy that pretty perfect turn there next turn I will have four or five I can play either of these let's get rid of the natural selection don't really need that and we have a jacks 
don't think that could have gone any better. <laughs> this uh, start for me. Yeah, so this is the other journal. Both players draw a card. Not sure if I like that because most of the Bloodborne spells besides that one help you, not your enemy as well. So other things I've done with my Judgment series where I would just do the draft on camera and then all the matches in the run I'd play on high speed and just commentate over them in post commentary which the plus side of that was that you saw all the uh, all the matches were shown on camera but it was just it wasn't as exciting without the live commentary and it was hard to keep up with my like my voice I was speaking so quickly uh, to keep it in a good length video this is force field force field uh, so I can get to five man in this turn and play necroseer oh this is actually gonna break break the force field right yeah I'll go ahead and kill that this turn what do I wanna let's get rid of the sun elemental Okay, I like the Necroseer of the card draw, so I'm going to play that. Move up to play the Necroseer. Now, either way, I lose this, right? Or I lose one of them. Yeah, I lose one of them. Oh, well. I think I'm still in a good spot. Oh, next turn I'm not able to get to this Manusburg. Oh well, can't play Jax next turn. Couldn't have uh, banked on that anyways because he could always go to it. Okay. At least I draw a card from that. And he takes damage. Now, a total of five to play with. I can bring my general's attack up to three. Now that's why I wish this wasn't alive so I can destroy this with natural selection. I think it's time for adamantine claws. Get rid of the silver tongue. Yep, claw time. So I'll just outright destroy this minion. And just poke that for one damage so we even out the life. Can't complain about the cards I've been drawing this game. Cannot complain at all. I'm not running away with it though. I'm ahead in that I have this artifact in my journal and I have the range unit in the corner, but things can happen very quickly. So he activates his uh, Bloodborne spell. We both draw a card. I got my Earth Sphere, which could really help me out. I have 17 health right now, which is exactly enough to uh, get the maximum use out of the Earth Sphere, so I can fill up to full health and not waste any fill up because it fills 8. Um, 17 plus 8 is 25. Doing the math. The tough math. This guy. Alright, he's dying, which is the same as the guy I just played. Uh, I wish I could kill him. So I can deal 6 damage of the face damage. Oh, I actually kind of can. I can play Primordial Gazer. And then I have 3 more to play with, but I don't really have anything else to play. Um, <laughs> is it better just to play Jax? No, I think I really want to deal some face damage here. Let's get rid of a Spirit Harvester. Perfect. So I'm gonna play it in conjunction with that. So we just have to go like move this over one just so I'm closer to playing this primordial grazer to the battlefields. So I'd shoot that, kill it. Move down to 
play my big dude. Don't forget to do my Bloodborne spell. And he's down to 10. My draw is this game. And I guess last game. Because I won that rather swiftly. Pickled Pudge Wallop. Next turn off seven mana. Probably would just play Jax. Oh, this is actually really good now. Now it's a three three with ranged. Honestly, in all likelihood, I'm gonna win next turn. I have seven attack, six attack, two attack, three attack with ranged, all threatening his general at the moment. Well, you never know. He does have six cards in hand and seven resources. He could play some crazy play to turn the game around. Because I don't really have something in my hand to combat something if he does something big with provoke or something. Running out of time. So look, Tracer, that's just gonna get him away from the field. Ah. He's gonna kill one of my minions. He's gonna be able to kill two of them, okay. Now. Uh, let's get rid of the dampening wave. Or should I play Dampening Wave on this? So that I can kill it swiftly. Yeah, sure, why not? I can keep this alive then for another big damage hit. And then I'll play Jax. That'll be my turn. I'll get rid of the veteran for something more like action packed. Well, that was an action packed, was it? Dampening wave. Okay, I should just use natural selection on it. Well, too late now. Probably would have been a better play. And now we play Jax. And good luck. Surviving this pickled pudge wallop. Actually, I don't wish you luck. I want to win this game. It's funny because everybody at the beginning of games, you do your cus you do your uh, good luck, have fun. But really, aren't we hoping for our opponents to get bad draws, <laughs> which is bad luck, so we can win? I think well played is a more appropriate greeting or term, actually. But I still agree with everybody with good luck, have fun. I guess it's the nice thing to do, but we all know we don't really wish our opponents luck. Well, I also have, I, drew, I top decked a uh, Saber Spine Tiger, so I don't think he's going to survive this. Well, Provoke might help him. Yeah, because I can hit one, two, three with the range of the general and just swoop around with my tiger. Actually, I could even just do it like this. Instead of being fancy. Kill that, and let's move down and hit him with the big hit with my general. I'll let my general get the crushing blow instead of a little tiger I just drew. Give him the honor. So that was fun. Uh, we're at 35 minutes now, so that's going to do it for this video. Now, comment below what you think I should do about like the gauntlet videos, because I want to get into gauntlet, but... 
I'm not sure how I should fit it in a video because there's way too many matches fit in one. Should I just like? Do you think I should record every gauntlet match and like have us like just upload it all? But that might be kind of tough for me. Or you just like the format like this where I uh, record the draft in the first game or two? Um, or uh, the other option where I show the whole thing in one video but I speed it up and do a post commentary. So, comment below what you want. Uh, I guess I'll do what you guys want. And that'll be it for today. So thanks for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed. And subscribe for more content. See ya.